barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, if you want to win a free pay-per-view to watch Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, hit me up in my DM. Email it to me. Send me a video response. We already got a couple in already, man. I appreciate you, man. We may even give away more than one. But let's jump into this shit, dog. Man, I couldn't wait for Trill Box to talk to him. Nigga, I was hit. I was a <laughs> dog. Shout out to Trill Bill Hayden. That's what I want to hear. I want to fight the best, nigga. If you ain't a nigga, get down or lay down, nigga. Shit. Oh, I felt good in this motherfucker, dog. Oh, you have no idea. That nigga said you a revolutionary or a reactionary. Man. <laughs> Shout out to Bill Haiti, man. Shout out to Bill Haiti. I'm about to have a great fucking workout today. Damn. Dog. And he made some great points. And one of the biggest points I thought that he made was let's get this motherfucking money. Let's get this motherfucking money. Let's get this money. Now, I will admit, there's a piece of me that wants everybody to know and understand that Vasil Lomachenko is ducking. And there's a piece of me that wants, uh, um, um, that wants, um, hold on, y'all gotta hold up, hold up, hold up, you gotta see this. I just, this is what's stopping me. Uh, but she ain't turned around though, man. But, just thought I'd help y'all out. Good morning! Shit, good morning, y'all. Anyways, man, let, as I get back on my diatribe. There's a piece of me that wants to blow Lomachenko out of the water, and I want Devin Haney to be on one side of the door, on one door, and I want uh, Tank Davis to be on the other side of the door. Now, you ain't got nowhere to run. You can't hide now. You got to fight one of us. There's a piece of me that wants that, right? But then in real life, in real life, I want all these niggas to get the money, dog. Get the money, dog. Get the money. And and live your best life right now. Stop preparing and waiting and perpetrating this boxing, man. Stop pimping the boxing fans. You know what I mean? And I'll keep it real. There's a there's a piece of me that has a great when I say a great level of respect for Lennon Elvy, a great level. You say a great level of respect. You say, why, Fred? How? Because y'all remember Leonard Elby when that nigga was the third in command, then he was second in command in the corner. Now the nigga wearing suits, dog. And and, and, and if you can't respect the nigga's grind. To go from where he's at to the president or the CEO, to the CEO of Mayweather Promotion, he wears tailor-made suits every day. I respect that, man. Any black man that 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 started from the bottom, now we're here. I have, that's why I love Deontay Wilder. So there's a piece of me that absolutely loves Leonard Ellaby and his ability to grind and make it. There's no parking. The gym is packed. And um, um, oh, per get the fuck out of here! The motherfucker just left. Man, this universe is amazing. <laughs> Nigga just pulled out right in front of me. So, so the point I'm making is this. Leonard Ellaby, I know you got a plan and you know how to build stars. And I do genuinely want y'all to get all the money possible. I 100% I believe Tank is a special fighter. I've told Tank to his face. I believe 1,000% Tank is a special fighter. But boxing as a whole, and I speak to boxing fans every day, every day. I get hundreds of thousands of views every day. I speak to them every single day. I know the posts. I read the comments. The bigger thing in boxing, we don't care who's the bigger star. We want to find out who the best fighter is. And I'm tired of these. Listen, I. Don't take this out of context, but understand what I'm saying. I'm tired of these others making money off the backs of our potential, our talent. You get what I'm saying? We got to start fighting each other. All right. And we got to start. We have to start paying each other off, you know, similar to what Al Heyman did to Andre Berto and Floyd Mayweather. That shit was cooked from the inside, dog. There's no way. Did Andre Berta deserve the fight? No. But Al Heyman said, you know what? This your last fight on your deal? We're going to pay a black man. We're going to pay a brother. And Leonard Ellaby's money comes from a black man. Him and Floyd then ran the gamut. They done milked the cow. They got the Pacquiao money. They got the 
the white kid, uh, McGregor money. They got all that, and I celebrated. Floyd, Floyd insulted me, and I still paid the money. He said he robbed the bank. He told me to my face, and it's okay because I believe he won, and I wanted, I wanted Floyd to stand at the at the highest peak in the world and say, "Ha ha, Bob Arum, I got you. Ha ha, Dan Raphael, I conned you. Ha ha, all the people who wanted me to lose, I got you." And I'm the first to admit, I've bet Floyd Mayweather fights the last 15, 20 fights. I've bet him blind. I told you guys that all the time. I bet Floyd blind. I don't care who he fighting. He ain't losing. You know, but above all of that, it's time. The paradigm, the media has changed. You guys want to know how I know? Because Trill Boxing Talk is the best show in blogger sphere. I don't care if you work for ESPN, Fox, whatever the case may be. People, people summarize success by views. No, they don't. People sum. Listen, you summarize your success by the ability to have people respond and react and be inspired by you. All right. Um, um, LDBC is the only is the only click, and they and and here's how they trick people. They say cult because they hate when people love each other. They, they, they use the term cult. They use the term militia, militant. That's what they call me, militant. Fred got a cult following. Nigga, I love my, I love my subscribers. And they love me. And every city I go to, they better be frontlining with me. Period. And, and I expect that. And, and and at the end of the day, I say this: we understand the big picture, but we are afraid. That we're going to demonize or alienate a certain audience. We don't need them. We don't need them. We don't need them. You use and manipulate them. We don't need them. And Tank Davis and Devin Haney. I want I want that fight to happen. But there's, there's so. There's a, in my heart of hearts. I want Lomachenko looking at 13 likes dog. I want him looking up at 13 likes. I do. I want him looking up like. God damn. I want him. I want to see a towel thrown in the ring. I really, really want that. You know what I mean? If you better than me, beat me. So, so, so I will stand on that. But moreover than that, I want us to understand that all we need is each other. All right? If you look at the 147-pound division, we don't need nobody else. I mean, we, we, some people may want to throw Danny Garcia in there. Yeah, you could throw Danny Garcia in, but that's all we need. Leo Santa Cruz out here stealing money. Now, if Tank Davis fights, if Tank Davis fights Leo Santa Cruz, he's taking money out of Gary Russell's pocket. And I don't respect that. It's like, it's like, you don't go fuck, you don't go mess with your man's ex. You just don't do it. I don't care how fine she is, how much she wants you, you just don't do it. You know what I mean, and and if Tank Davis fights, I'm I'm gonna be really upset, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a video spree on that shit. But if Leo Santa Cruz fights Tank Davis, you know what I mean, just like Leo Santa Cruz, we don't need Leo Santa Cruz on on the on the Deontay Wilder's um, uh, pay per view as the co main event. Bring that nigga to L.A. Let him fight at the. He don't sell tickets, man. He was just at Microsoft. He don't sell tickets. He fought February as the main event. Stop pretending like these motherfuckers. I was debating in my gym yesterday. They say Mexicans is the number one. No, they not, dog. It's a lie. Black fight fans spend the most money. Black fight fans spend the most money. How and why do I know? Because we will be the seventh largest country in the world. Now, you could take that good or bad. In this case, I'm, I'm proving the point to be positive. We are the biggest consumers of boxing. Period. End of discussion. You think a black fighter has more Mexican fans than black fans? You think a black fighter has more uh, Puerto Rican fans than black fans? You think Floyd Mayweather had more Mexican fans than black fans? You think Earl Spence got more Mexican fans than black fans? No. Go through your top ten fighters. Seven of them are black. So just by, just by assumptions, just by, you can say, loose assumptions or great hypotheses and educated guess, you will assume, you will know that black fight fans spend the most money. And that's a fact. 
All right, and and it just it just bewilders me that we are afraid to talk black. That's why I was listening to Bill Haney, Trill Bill Haney, and I was like, man, he talking black. He speaking my language. He speaking my man. He speaking. He's man. This is how we. This is how we want them all. And 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 truth be told, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you, Leonard. Something has to happen. I don't know when. I don't know how. But Tank Davis got to make a move. Leo Santa Cruz isn't good enough for us. It's not. It's not. Uh, Leo Santa Cruz needs to go fight Gary Russell. All right, And I know it's probably not going to happen and this and that. But he needs to go fight Gary Russell. That's the fight people want to see. People don't want to see Leo Santa Cruz and Tank Davis. If Tank Davis is running off out the mouth, strategically put him in a place where he can fight him. You know what I mean? I I have no ill will towards Tank Davis. None, zero, zilt. But I understand that. I understand if you got the money, you got the power. I repeat, I understand. I fully grasp the concept. If you got the money, you got the power. And if you need a better example, look at Leonard Ellaby and Floyd Mayweather. They parlayed their power and their money into a TMT contract with Showtime. Now they got they in Sam's town. <laughs> you know what I mean? So so at the end of the day, if you got the money, you got the power. And and and, and that's in, in boxing. And that's the truth of the matter. So anyways, man, I just want y'all to have a splendid day. I'm hype. That shit got me lit. Shout out to 78 and and Black and uh Trill Bill for coming on. Congratulations on the win. I need to do my response video to that fight. I still haven't did I think I'm I think I'm woke enough now. You know what I mean? No pun intended. But I think I got enough energy in me where I can just knock out 10 videos a day, man. I think I might I, I think I might bring out the 8K. You know, I, 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 I've been, I had a 22 in my pocket the past couple of days. Bah, bah, pot shotting. But I think I'm ready to unload the clip today. So anyways, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Y'all have a splendid day, Trill. Great, great show. And I love the fact that he's used the term revolutionary. I love the time. Y'all, y'all sleep. Y'all woke. And Leonard Ellaby fully understands. He's been in the boardrooms. He's had to begrudgingly shake Bob Arum's hand. He's had to begrudgingly shake other people's hands from other networks. You know, he's had to begrudgingly uh, allow Dan Raphael in the media rooms. You know what I mean? So he understands the bigger picture. You know, of any black man, for real, and, and, and this is a loose loose statement a broader statement if you come from nothing and you make it on your merit you know the big picture you fully grasp and understand the big picture and I need you to abide by that all right and uh, you know what I mean and uh, anyways man Devin Haney versus Tank Davis Juneteenth any black city in America Steven Espinosa gets the big picture. I'm going to tell you how I know. Two, uh, last weekend, two weekends ago, Canelo sold 10,005 tickets in the boxing capital of the world. In the boxing capital of the world. Pay attention. Pay attention, all my afraid Negroes. Next Saturday, Deontay Wilder is fighting in the same arena. He will do more than 10,005 buys. I mean, 10,005 uh, ticket sales. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just being 100 with y'all. Stand up, y'all. Man up. Go get a biz now, nigga. Barbershop comes. I'm about to put this nip on and fucking get this workout. Go run these miles and lift these weights. And then go hit this bag and, and be happy, dog. Be, have, be joyful. Man, shout out to Black and 78, man. That shit, I didn't even know they was... I was like, whoa, y'all started late today. I was worried and shit. I was like, man, I didn't get my notification. I got that shit like 8 11. I'm like, oh, okay, y'all just, okay, y'all on. Okay, I got it. But, anyways, man, I love y'all. Great show. Subscribers, we're going to be lit today. Oh, we're going to, I'll live the night. Going to be litty, litty. If y'all need to go listen to the live tonight because I'm going in. I'm going in. Witness Protection Program. Wow. Barbershop Conversations. I'm going. Peace.